in this video I am going to be talking to you about my journey um, as a child of God I can say for sure I am unashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ on my channel I share my life with you entertainment business YouTube tips you get everything right here if you are interested in that type of content be sure to subscribe if you have not already like this video so without further ado let us get straight into it So I got baptized in 2014. I think it was May 24th or May 25th. Yeah, either one. But it has been a journey and I am so grateful. Listen, I, I love God with everything in me. And I'm going to be sharing these things and it's going to be personal. It is going to be just me being blunt and me being transparent about this entire journey. It would definitely be a um, series because of course it has been it has been a rocky road but I'm so grateful for other lessons that it has taught me and I'm so excited to share that with you and to share the journey with you so I got saved in high school I got baptized in high school um, when I got baptized everybody at my high school they were like you what no frit because everybody would have usually call me frit so I'm gonna say no for it you yeah you definitely have a backslide because <laughs> for one my mom never know how to keep my mouth if somebody says something to me i'm gonna like it me i go want answer i was a mess i was a mess and you probably look at me now and you're like you you i'm like yes yes <laughs> but there's a thing with god you know um he changes you and he completely transforms you into his likeness and I am so grateful I will forever be grateful for this transformation and this big step that I took and even though some people they might say you know you are too young to make that decision you are never too young you are never too messed up you are never too bad to come to God to get baptized to get saved and I must say that thank God I got saved thank God I got saved because I can imagine the things that would have happened to me <laughs> and but then I, I everything every little thing that happened it would stress me out it would depress me so I can imagine if certain things that really were supposed to happen to me how it would have affected me and I would not have been where I am today if I did not get baptized so let me just put that out there and I tell you that God completely changed my life when I tell you that me getting baptized it completely changed my life I wasn't the party goer I wasn't the person to go out all the time but but it just full of mouth me used to love chat but me used to love yeah my mouth that was the prob that was the biggest problem the anger the anger the frustration and everything how I used to take it out on people I'm not going to lie I still do struggle with anger issues um sometimes you know some persons they might say something to me and it really ticked me off and I feel like fly up or something like that but I'm learning to keep cool you know I won't get everything right I'm still working on it it's not something that you know when you get baptized you will completely transform and drop all the bad habits um let me just say that from now I mess up so much people and I have to say that God he still loves me but what I don't do is when I mess up I'm like oh that's fine God will go forgive me so let me just mess up do anything I want do don't care because once I repent and we say God forgive me that's it it's never like that for me I can't ever feel comfortable doing something that I know that I'm be I'm messing up and at the end of the day I'm just there basking in it you know I always try to get things right and even though I do mess up again, it's just a thing that I have to continue to remember that, hey, one way or the other, you're gonna have to get this right. We know when we are doing something wrong. We do know when we are doing something wrong. Hey, the truck. And I say, if you tell me say you don't know when you are doing something wrong, I mean, not all the time. You know, you can do something sometime and you really don't know that you did it. Um, I really don't know that um, it affected someone in a way that it did sometimes yes we do things and we don't really realize how much it can actually affect someone or affect a situation and it has been like that for me there's still some things that I am struggling with time after time I will you know share certain stories with you I will share certain things with you um, about the struggles that I had 
of course i won't share something that i am currently going through until i am over it because what's the sense of talking about something or trying to give advice to someone on something and you are still struggling with it so i mean you know until i am fully free from something until i am fully i have fully let go of something i won't advise anyone on it i won't speak on it until i am over it to get me i have messed up so many times I, i'm like god forgive me uh, i'm like god i'm so sorry and every minute i do the same thing over and over again but then I, I i don't use this thing because we have a thing to say don't use i'm human to 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 mess up and you know that you are messing up yet you still do it just continue going to god for forgiveness keep on asking god to you know help you and to really teach you and to really um get you in that place to you know get free from a situation or to you know work on yourself ask god to teach you um how to do things trust me he is able to do it i have found so much joy since i've gotten baptized and you know funny enough it was when i got baptized so many things started happening you know the depression got worse everything just seemed to 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 to, to get worse and i don't want anyone to ever tell you that you know getting baptized is such an easy journey and the road will be swoosh it's never like that it's never like that but the thing is you know the, the devil he will um know that you are trying and he will try to stop that but you have to constantly remind yourself that hey i can do this because you know it is when you make a step to better your life that is when the devil steps in and you have to be sure that you find that willpower and you find that strength to stand firm and to say listen devil back up literally i don't listen but then i was so afraid to be like devil on your time no one time you used to free it and say no i'm gonna out of my mouth about the devil and then next thing me come get attack or me come get it in a more problem or bad things start happening no you're not supposed to fear that the devil you've been fearful of him when he is actually fearful of you because it's the power that is wow you are fearful of the devil yet he is fearful of you because he knows the power that is within you that if you ever unleash that power and if you ever find your purpose and find what you are called to do he is in serious problem and that is something that i was running from because of fear and it is until now i am finding that courage to say listen devil i found my purpose no i found what i'm called to do no so you in a problem so me i'm gonna need it for backup me i'm gonna need it for ship out and move out get me i say you are serving a god that he will never leave you he will never forsake you and as i said earlier on you won't get over a particular situation you won't give up on a struggle same time and i found it that so many people you can't rush deliverance you can't rush breaking free from a struggle you can't rush these things but you have to be sure you have to make up in your mind that you want to be free from this thing and you want to you want a change because if you don't want a change it doesn't matter how much you pray it doesn't matter how you ask god to change you and to you know take you out of this situation if you do not want that change and if you don't make that change nothing will happen because first you have to believe it and first you have to want it because you have to remember that god gave us a choice we make our own decisions we make our own choices god gave us a choice because we are not slaves to him we are his children he's like a brother to us he's like a father to us you name it so he gave us a choice and he is not going to force you to do something that you don't want to do so everything is a choice so the change is your choice whatever you prayed for it is your choice to actually work towards it because faith without works dead 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 so let me tell you from now if you want something you go after it have faith in god that he will actually do it and do not doubt the very thing that you prayed for because the very time you begin to doubt something that you prayed for is the very minute you just delayed your own blessing the very minute you just delayed the very thing that you prayed for and you just have to believe that god will and he can and i always remember this that he's four days late but he's still on time god's timing is different from ours and i had to learn that sometimes it's a struggle because i'm like god this is happening right now and if i don't do this and if this doesn't happen then i'm going to end up in this bad situation and i need a change like right now right now right now 
but sometimes the things that we pray for is not for us and i used to pray and i'm like god i want this i want this change i want that but we are not ready for it we are not prepared for it yet still we complain tell you the honest truth we're ungrateful to god so many times god would actually um not give us something because he knows how much it can break us he knows how much um he knows that we can't handle it and we would probably you know some of you guys would probably curse god and say god oh god now do this to me i'm a prayer for you i'm a prayer for this i'm a prayer for that and god now do not offer me and this and that and this and that but sometimes you know the thing is i remember praying for something and i'm like god i want this i want this i want this i know so i never really feel but i want it because i want it god give it to me and you see when we get it complete failure complete failure and we ask God for something sometimes and we're not ready for it and we end up in a worse situation just because we can't wait just because we don't want to wait on him because it seemed too long it seemed as if nothing is going to work out if we wait any longer but I'm going to say this that God has been amazing I have found so much joy in him I have found happiness I have found peace I have found peace oh my god like I am so happy this is the best decision anyone could ever make and some people they're so indecisive listen I don't go by denomination I don't like when people ask me what's your denomination I'm serving God I love God I'm worshiping Jesus Christ so once we are serving the same God don't ask me about denomination that is that that is like a pet peeve for me i don't want anybody to ask me my denomination as i said this is going to be a series um so i'm so happy to take you guys on this journey um because i have so much to say i have so much to share with you so before this video gets any longer i just want to say thank you all so much for watching subscribe if you haven't as yet like this video comment below um let me know what your journey has been like if you are not saved as yet you know let's just have a conversation and i will be posting part two soon so be sure to turn on your post notification bell. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.